Hey YouTube, this is your own boy from Donald Poor. I really just don't know what to say. I'm kind of in shock right now. A really close friend of mine, she died of cancer. Um, she didn't really have a chance, but she caught it in time. But the treatments weren't working, or I don't know what type of cancer that she had. That she had. Um, her name was Stacy Plummins. Um, she was a manager where I used to work at. I mean, where I was not used to, but where I am working at now. Um, she she used to work there, but she quit her job, and because they wouldn't give her a pay raise. And so, which I don't blame her, you know. And, but, you know, I just don't know what else to really say, you know. She was a good friend, she would always be missed. You know, she always put people in good moods, and she always made people laugh. And, so like I said, I just don't know anything else what to say about her. I mean, she would just give you she would give you her shirt off her back if you need it. I mean, she was that type of person. You know, she cared about everybody. You know, she always put a smile on her, on her face, on her face, and everything else. And you know, it's kind of this year has been kind of a crappy. A crappy year for me. I mean, it, it really, really has. I mean, I'm not. Hopefully, the next year will be better. Um, but I'm just saying is that I I lost two people this year that I, that I was really, really close to. Bursa is my grandpa. Um, he died in the end of March. Of this year, had his funeral on April second. He died due to COVID, and then now toward the end of the year, uh, lady I used to work with that I was very very close with. When I used to do boots, she would always come back there and check up on me, see how I'm doing every every morning. We'll stand, she'll stand there and talk with me for thirty minutes. You know, just to spend time, just cut up and laugh, you know, because she always liked me to make her laugh. And she said that I should always try to stand up comedian or something like that because she said I'd always be good at it. Because, but, every time when she would come by and say, hey, Seth, do you have these boots? And I'll look for them on the shelf for her. I would always joke around with her and everything, you know, I would always say, hey, you know, rate me five stars, you know, like they do on the app, you know, an Uber driver, you know, they'll, they'll have you rate, rate them five stars on their app, on the driver, on who they get, you know, if they do a good job or whatever, which I've never driven Uber before, but that's what I've heard, and so she was joking around with me one day, and she's and she's like, let me see your apron. And I'm like, okay, why? <laughs> so she gets my apron where I carry my stickers and my tape for inspection and stuff like that. She grabs my apron. And next thing I know, she comes back and it has my name on it. And it says Seth McDonald. And then it says five stars. And it had five, star, five gold stars on where under in between the name and where it says five star ser service and which I would always talk about it every morning with her and everything and we talked about a lot of things and there were times she would always she would knew I'd be mad and she could always tell if I was mad or upset on something and she would say you know you just want to be like one of those days where you get where you get in that movie where you just want to spider be like one of those spider monkeys, you know, just jump all over people and, you know, and start webbing them. And I'm like, I just looked at her and I said, spider monkey. 
I said, that's a good one. I said, I've never heard that one before, but okay, yeah, I'll go with it. And I just kind of laughed at it, and I said, there are times I wish I could do that. And, but, uh, I'm just kind of lost with words on it. You know, I'm really close friends with her son. I'm more worried about him and everything. You know, Jeremiah, you know, he he's a cool guy. I mean, every time when I see him, he always comes up to you and respects you. He always, you know, shakes your hand and everything. And, and me and him just clicked and when I first met him. And, and so we, we talked, I had contacted him him or anything like that and but I just want to reach out there to their family you know I just want to say hey you know I'm sorry for your loss <laughs> I've been through that loss I know what it's like to lose somebody everybody knows what it's like it's like to lose somebody that they truly love and, and care about and or it's that somebody is close to you know nobody wants to see somebody gone and, you know, to me, that's kind of sad. And it's like I always say, you know, me, I always count my blessings every day. I mean, there might be moments where, you know, I'm having a bad day or, or I'm upset about something. But I don't let it bother me too much because, you know, I want to say this. I count my blessings every day. You know, that I get another day of life. You know, I get, you know, another chance, another breath, or whatever. And, you know, it's just sad that she ain't going to be around no more. I think the last time I seen her was at Walmart when I was doing some shopping. And we talked at Walmart, and that was the last night. And I talked to her on message messenger the other night and I said that was it and, and she sounded like she was doing good and then they say I know I've seen on everybody's Facebook that you know when state Stacy died and I'm like shit <laughs> what a way to start a new year beginning of next year you know and you know I I really cared about her. I always called her family, and because she always cared about me, you know, she was just one of those people that you would love to have in her group, in her group, and in her circle of uh, friendship. Because you know, she would sit there and listen to your problems and actually care about them. And where if you talk to somebody else. You know, on the street or in a workplace, you know, you talk to them, they might listen to you, but do they really care? No. Um, but she actually cared about her co-workers and ones that she did work with and ones that she did like. And I will, I will never forget her laughter. I always, I always liked her, I always liked her laugh. And every time when she did laugh and there were times that she would hide the yellow tape on me you know just pull pranks on me and which I never got mad at her and I always say you know I'll get you back but now I can't, I can't get you back you know but <sighs> where does the time go when you're having too much fun especially the ones with the ones that you truly care about the ones that you cherish and it's like I said you know this year has kind of sucked because I found out like I said I found out one of my actress died that I liked in the Power Rangers like three, three weeks ago and then I, which I never met him which you know but he was still a good Power Ranger one of the best Power Rangers but then I had my grandpa pass before that and then, and then now, now I'm having my best friend that I used to work with, she passed. So it's like, only thing I can say is to move on and be strong.
always to move on and be strong. That's how life is. Some things you just can't take control of. And, you know, things happen for a reason. And, you know, the ones that do die, they want us to be strong. They don't want us to live in guilt. They don't want us to live in sorrow. They don't want to live us. They don't. They don't want us to live in pain. So, it's always be mindful of others. Always respect others. Always, you know, cherish your life to the fullest because you never know when your last life might be. And always count your blessings. And like I said, live strong, be healthy, um, stay positive no matter what. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to go work out here in about 15 minutes and just clear my mind of everything. And I'm just kind of really upset right now. Usually working out always puts me in a good mood. Um, so after finding out some bad news and stuff like that, and I just I knew something was wrong last night because I couldn't sleep worth of shit last night I mean I slept off and on and it was just like I, I went to bed about midnight I watched a movie stayed up late watched a movie played video games and I went to bed about midnight and then by the time I went to bed like I felt a surge of energy left my body and it was just like okay something's happened and which I didn't know what so I have that instinct I have a special ability you know to sense death or know when somebody's dying that's in my circle of life because their energy bond that I had with them will always be remain with me because I would always share their memories on what I had not all of the bad ones but the good ones so it's like I said they want us to be strong they want us to move on and you know that's what I'm doing so you know Stacy Plummins family uh, I just want to say sorry for your guys loss and um, you know um, and then so like I said you know I'm just lost with words right now I can't even really speak but I'm just saying this you know always count your blessing and no I am not drunk uh, I'm basically sober I'm actually had Mountain Dew. I'm actually went to Taco Bell, ate out a little bit this afternoon, and I've been drinking on this Mountain Dew ever since I got home. Um, it was about two fifteen. I'm just trying to finish it up, not really waste it. But it is what it is. Uh, so like I said before you just can't control uh, anything what comes that comes with life you know God is the one that controls it um, I just really don't know what else to say, say on that um, which you know God controls everything you know if you believe in him then you know which I do so it's like there's a reason why Well, I don't once in a while when I feel down or feel stressed or I read out of the Bible once in a while. I mean, I don't, I don't read out, out of it all the time, but I do read out of it once in a while just to find answers. But I, I do believe in them, but <laughs> it, it's just... I know people will say though that I'm hypocritic because I don't go to church and believe in, in him 
you can still believe in God and not go to church. I mean, I, I don't care who you are. I mean, you can still believe in God and not go to church. You might not believe in Him. You might not be a full 100% Christian when you're not going to church, but really, technically, me, I, I don't go to church because um, really, technically, I don't believe in what the preachers preach because they don't practice on what they preach. And they tell us to go out and do what they tell the, us in the sermons. And then when you go out in public, you see them doing something that they're not, they're not supposed to do. And then it's like, well, you're doing it, you know. And, and it's like, I know it says thou shalt not judge, but I'm not even really judging. But that's just how I see it. And But it's like I said, count your blessings. Always be fruitful and mindful of others. I mean, especially the ones that are closest to you. And like I said, you know, I'm just lost for words right now. I pray for the Plumlands family and everything. And like I said, please hit the like, hit subscribe. That's all I have to say for words right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.